Hello Aquarius, welcome, welcome, welcome to your reading. I'm just going to light a candle for us. This is a general reading for Aquarius. It's a love reading, my darlings. We're going to be using the Passion Deck, the Love Potion Deck. And uh, I just felt called to do a reading for you. Um, so it's just a quick little love reading to check in and see what's going on for Aquarius. Make a wish. Um, I got this strong sense, Aquarius, of just you needing to be yourself. 100%. It was this, it was no space or time to be anyone else but me, is what I heard. And it was just a sigh of relief. Um, even amount of disbelief. That this came up in the spirit animal reading as well. Life is wanting to channel through you all areas of life with no stone unturned. Aquarius, let's get started with your reading with a message from your person from the love potion deck that you can find in the crystal store. Oh, the candle went out. I feel like you put a spell on me. I am obsessed. Your person is definitely feeling very connected. They're wondering why this connection is so profound. And honestly, Aquarius, as cool as it would be to be able to cast a spell like that, I feel like you're wondering the same thing. <laughs> Make a wish. Okay, let's get another message here. We are the king, queen type of love. Beautiful. We are together in another timeline. I am not surprised to see these three cards here. Aquarius, this is confirmation for you. And I do feel like your, your person is in deep rec recognition now. It might be something that you've wondered about. But if we step into the age of Aquarius, this you know level of cosmic insight is becoming more readily available. Things that you've known for your entire life, you know, is suddenly... My birds are going crazy. Um, is suddenly like people are talking about it, just like the birds are talking now. It's like, you know, people are aware of these streams of consciousness, of this cosmic download, of these divine connections, of these unexplainable, you know, um, cosmic connections because we're all made of stars, you know, and people are aware of, you know, it's this. It's your person. Uh, they see now. They see clearly. They're just... <laughs> yeah, this is confirmation. Being together in another timeline, it explains everything. You know, why is this connection so deep? You know, twin flame, soulmate, true love connection. You know, and, and, and being in each other's dreams, it's because you are connected, you know, throughout time. And you probably have known each other in other lifetimes and other timelines. Let's draw straight from the um, the passion deck here. Actually, we'll draw a fairy card and then the passion. Action is needed. Victory is yours. I'm hearing someone say, well, great great it's like a never give in it's like right as you give in right as you let this go as you surrender victory is yours and now you've already surrendered now you're just like well I'm dropping all the cards here oh this was in the deck by mistake so strange I am grateful for the light you brought into my life. You relit that candle. Yeah, Aquarius. You did. These were the cards that fell just right now. Meditation, study, and manifestation. Let's see what's happening. Five of Swords, there's been an argument, there's been a disagreement. 
not feeling like anyone's the real winner here. Eight of Swords, walking away from something, feeling stuck in a situation. Very much in the mind. Four of Chalices, stagnant energy. There's, yeah, definitely a change that has been needed because this was going nowhere because there was quarreling or there was something that was hidden in the background, an addiction or something that was uh, keeping this rather than heart to heart, it was keeping it somewhat like a battlefield. And together, the energies have made a plan to move forward. Both have recognized this uh, connection, this attraction, this something worth fighting for. And I feel like both energies have focused on study of some sort of the spiritual realm or self-growth or focusing on work. It's like moving the energy, channeling it into another stream. Let's find out what the outcome is of this plan. Look at this. Three cards here. The Queen of Wands, returning to love, returning to passion, returning to joy, connection. The eternal love. Aquarius, someone is in deep admiration of you. They admire just every little thing you do. The death card in reverse. They're not wanting to let go. Unfortunately, though, spirit changes things. You know, it's sort of like a sudden shift, you know, of energy. Even though this is so real. Something has had to be released. The Queen of Swords has had the final say here. And it is a letting go. A loving from afar. It's uh, thinking with one's mind to protect one's heart. Making wise decisions. Rather than emotional decisions. Well, this connection certainly runs It runs deep. It's, a, it's to the core, to the heart. I, I totally feel it, like tugging at my heartstrings here. Let's get a message from your true love twin flame. Soulmate love connection. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception. This is coming straight from Queen of Swords. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Letting go of resentment to return to love, seeing it all as a divine reflection I am love, I am, I am, I am love, the queen of wands, always returning to love, grateful for the lessons, grateful for the learning, wow Aquarius, let's see how your person is feeling at this time, Aquarius, this person is feeling unbalanced, they might be, um, this could be like overindulgence, you know, in, in drinking or something like this. But their spirit, their soul, it feels unbalanced. It might just be because you're apart, but they, they're needing to find this balance. What they're keeping close to their chest and not letting you know is the queen of chalices, this love. They feel unbalanced in this love between you. Hmm. Either the connection, when you are together, unbalances it, where it's not healthy for either of you, or it's where your person's at, where they just feel the love is too much, they can't handle it. It feels like they're somewhat trying to control this situation, but it's out of their, out of their control, and they don't like that. If you have a question for spirit, hold it in your heart, in your mind's eye, Aquarius. Let's see. Choose a new direction. Yeah. Follow your truth, your purpose, your harmony. Forgiveness and trust. Letting go of resentment. 
bringing in forgiveness and trusting in the new beginnings. It's really what it's about. And the answers are being felt through your physical body. It's not in the mind. You know, the emotions, it's like making wise choices, but the it, it's aside from emotions. It's literally the energy that runs through your physical body. Where you feel peaceful, loved, heard, held, trusting. We're going to draw a... Um, an angel card here, Aquarius. Playfulness. Yay. <laughs> it's about time, right? It is so about time. It really is. That is so lovely. And and, and playfulness and fun, it just it heals so much. Surrender and release. Enchantment. That's the journey. You know, and with this release, it can be fun. It doesn't need to be so difficult. Laughter can be healing. <laughs> That's what love wants. Love wants one to be free. Want Love wants one to have fun. To surrender. To release. This is almost like you, Aquarius. You're a symbol. Your lesson, your learning, and here, the magical healing of the unicorn, the enchantment, purification, and brand new beginnings to take that leap of faith, all grounded in magic and infinite possibility. Wow. Let's draw a final tarot and a final message from your love, Aquarius, your future love, that which is in alignment with the light, with your highest timeline. Four of Pentacles. In reverse. Somebody wanting to build something. This feels like a secret admirer situation, Aquarius. Because it is in the uh, the reverse here. Yeah, I, I, I feel like very strongly somebody has words to speak to you. But they're not <laughs> sure how to approach you or how to come forward with this. Let's see what they want to say. I have loved you all along. Wow. Yeah. It's a beautiful love that you share. Bless. Oh my gosh, I'm crying now. <laughs> Aquarius. Sending you all the love and light. I literally heard like angelic choir <laughs> with this beautiful message and eternal love bless 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 Aquarius I hope this helped in some way and that um, yeah that you are guided with these messages and find peace hope happiness and the blessing of your beautiful now I look forward to your next reading here on Crystal Communications. Check the subscribe and the thumbs up. And I'm a darlings. We'll see you soon. I feel like I don't want to leave. <laughs> Aquarius. For some reason, a picnic just came to my mind. Like somebody, maybe they're dreaming of having a picnic with you. Or you're going to be having a picnic. Like I literally see that happening in the future. Like some sort of surprise outing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's really lovely. Enjoy. Sending you all the love and light. See you soon, Aquarius. Ciao for now.